channel. This is Sarah Grayson, where grace begins with you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And for all my OGs that come back to see me and leave me great comments about how they miss me and how they enjoy my videos, I want to say thank you greatly. Thank you for coming supporting me and I appreciate all the love. As you see by the title, we're going to get into some of my best Easter fragrances. So if that's something you enjoy, please stay tuned. But before we get started, um, I'm here and I'm supporting a great cause for victims against violence in public schools. We know all of the, the violence that's going on in these public schools, all of the shootings, all of the bullying, the harassment, um, the suicides, and this cause and foundation and charity is a great um, foundation and charity to donate to, to get all these children the help that they need, even the children that witness the violence really need our help so i would appreciate if you donate if you support um the calls and the fight because we want to make sure our children are safe and we want to make sure we can save the ones that have been affected please don't forget to donate or help and support and the causes victims against violence in public schools all of the information will be linked below. Thank you so much. Now, one more time, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. Definitely don't forget to like so you know I stay in the loop, guys, that YouTube will push my videos. Definitely don't forget to share and absolutely don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload great new content. So without further ado, let's get into my Easter wear on Easter. So the first one is a beautiful from the house that you guys, if you've been watching me anytime, know that I love. And Brie Dior by Christian Dior, the Privé line. The notes are rose, oak, mo oak moss, patchouli, bergamot, cedar, amber, and sandalwood. It's a woody, earthy rose, mossy, patchouli, citrus, warm, spicy, amber, floral powder. Dior. It's such a fem pretty feminine fragrance. I'm just going to say it smells feminine to me. It's light. It's airy. It's a little mossy has that patchouli it has the brightness of the citrus it's a great great um even the color is <laughs> reminds you of easter it's like lavender if you can see that the camera will pick it up um it's it's a it's a beautiful easter springtime fragrance it's lovely. It's it's light. It's airy. It would go beautiful with a a lovely dress, white, pastel, pink, uh, lavender, uh, light. I mean lilac. It's just a, it's a it's a lovely, mature, uh, pretty, feminine scent. And this one is Gris Dior by Christian Dior de Privé line. The next fragrance that I have for you, Graceful Beauties, that will be great for so Easter. It will make you feel like a goddess. And this one is Alien Goddess by Mugler. The notes are coconut water, bergamot. The middle notes are jasmine, halothrop, or halotrope. And the base notes are bourbon, vanilla, and cashmere. And it is a vanilla, powdery, white, floral, woody, citrus, musky, floral fragrance that coconut is there coconut water is there that bergamot is bright it's very um 
bossy. <laughs> so if you want to wear for Easter, it's very bossy. Very um, front forward. It's going to let you know that it's in the building. It's kind of sweet. It definitely has that coconut. So if you're looking something for if you're looking for something that has coconut at the forefront in the dry down, get goddess. Goddess is very pretty. It it just makes you feel goddess <laughs> like it's very bossy. It's very pretty. It's floral. You smell a little bit of the ja um excuse me of the jasmine and the vanilla. But it gives you that um, kind of um, smoothness of the, like the cashmere and like the cashmere. It gives you that. But that coconut stays there. Let you know this is a coconut forward fragrance, and it's and it's very um, queen goddess. It smells like gold. <laughs> type of fragrance great for Easter I think it's great for, for Easter for the women that want to be that doesn't want to be simple want to be extra noticed and this one is Alien Goddess by Moogler the next fragrance that I have for you beauties is one that comes from a house another house that I love and I, when I was looking for my Easter fragrances or what I would wear for Easter, I couldn't leave this one out because I'm just going to get one spray, guys, because it's just something that you will wear in this time. BDK's Bouquet de Angre. Top notes are pear, strawberry, cassis. The middle notes are Turkish rose, jasmine, sandback, and Laura Knox. And the base notes are musk, amber, and cedar. It's a fruity, sweet rose, musky, woody, amber, powdery, white, floral, fresh floral fragrance. It's floral. It's sweet. The strawberry gives it some little bit of sweet tartness. Uh, it has the uh, just a the pear is there, but the pear is just a backup it's not something that's pair pair forward more of the strawberry you get just a f the fruitiness of it the fruitiness of the strawberry you get that um rose and you get a little bit of the musk but this is a floral base heavy fruity fr a little fruity sweetness fragrance it's so pretty for the, it's almost a little aquatic too, but it's so pretty for Easter. It's just a, this one I would, I, this one gotta be a number one or number two for me because this is a very, and it has great projection and longevity for me. This one is very a, a really good runner up for a fragrance that I would wear for Easter. It's so feminine, it's so um, stunning and pretty, and it just exudes femininity in this fragrance. But it's not a floral that, you know, some people really don't enjoy florals, but, and I'm, I'm maybe a little bit on the fence about that, like on, I'm, I'm you know, maybe one that <laughs> is not that heavy into florals, but, and even though I have them, it have to be a little complex for me. I love florals, but I, I need something than just floral. So, but this one, because florals bring to me, bring softness and femininity to a, to a fragrance. So, they, you know, a lot of our fragrances are floral based. So, but before I ramble on, this one has that beautiful color, pink color. It's the... And this one is BDK Bouquet de Angre. Then I just have the next one I have is one I haven't talked about in a long time. And this one it may be the reason I haven't talked about it in a long time, but 
I seen it and I was thinking like, this is a great Easter fragrance. The reason why I haven't talked about it, I'm not even sure if they still have this fragrance, um, that they still make this fragrance, and I would probably have to look it up and get back to you, beauties. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, this one is a great one for Easter. White patchouli. The notes, top notes are white flowers, coriander, peony, bergamot. The middle notes are amber, musk, mallow, rose, and jasmine. The base notes are patchouli, woody notes, and incense. It's a woody, patchouli, white floral, floral, warm, spicy, aromatic, rose, balsamic, earthy, fresh fragrance. This is fresh and floral. You get the patchouli. You will get some of that jasmine. You get a, You definitely get the musk, especially in the dry down. But this one is, it's, it's kind of, um, citrusy so it's kind of bright but you are it is heavy in that um, patchouli and i'm not even a big patchouli has to be done in a certain way for me to really enjoy it but this one because of the coriander the peony the rose um the jasmine the white flowers the bergamot the patchouli um you know, it migrates and it, it marinates right in with those fragrances. So you get patchouli, but because you have all of those other notes, they marry so well that the patchouli, even though it's the star of the show, needs its choir to be able to be this great fragrance that this one is. It's a beautiful Easter fragrance. It's not offensive. It's so light. It's so airy. It's very, it has very great projection and it has very great longevity. If you can find this, I would say please get your hands on it. It's a lovely, lovely fragrance. And this one is time for White Patchouli. Next and last fragrance that I have, and I couldn't leave this one out because I was over there and I was picking up some fragrances. And I this fragrance was there on my um out on my mantle, and I was like, okay, <laughs> wanted to show you guys something different, but this fragrance would not let me walk by it without grabbing it and putting it on um putting in this video for great a my best Easter fragrances so I said it was talking to me so I said here let you gotta go this one <laughs> is Valentino Donna born in Roma by Valentino it's a black currant pink pepper bergamot the middle notes of jasmine jasmine sandbag jasmine tea the base notes of bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and gayak wood. It's a woody vanilla fruit, soft, spicy, powdery, white, floral, floral, musky green. Fresh fragrance. This one is just sweet. It's fruity. It has a little bit of that vanilla, but it's a little woody. It's just pretty. That's all I can say. It's pretty. It's beautiful. It's um, gorgeous definitely a great for you're going to get great longevity you're going to get great projection you're going to get people that notice you you're going to smell sweet it's a great easter fragrance it's so it's a little even a little fresh and a, to me a little aquatic but it has a little bit of that musk definitely floral definitely fruity just pretty a all around favorite for a Easter fragrance. Best Easter fragrance. And that's all I have for you, beauties. This one is Valentino, Donna Born in Roma by Valentino. That's all I have for you, beauties. I hope you enjoyed my picks for best Easter fragrances. Um, Leave a comment below of your best Easter fragrances or what you plan to wear for Easter. 
I would really, really, really enjoy hearing it. Before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more great content. And definitely don't forget to share. I appreciate you all. And if I don't get to see you or talk to you, please have a happy Easter. Thank you for coming to see me. I'll see you again soon, everyone. Take care now. Bye-bye.